First at 10, the CDC reports recent studies show a serious decline in measles vaccination rates among eligible children. Local health leaders believe the decline is due to myths surrounding the measles vaccine. Two News reporter Caroline Morse is live with new information about the state's measles outbreak. That's right. I spoke with the health commissioner of Clark County Combined Health District, Charles Patterson. He says he believes myths surrounding the MMR vaccine have been heightened due to the vaccine hesitancy surrounding the COVID vaccine. The vaccine hesitancy is something that we're all going to pay dearly for over the next several years. Um, from the COVID fiasco. Some local health leaders are fearing the worst is yet to come. Some believe the uncertainty around the COVID-19 vaccine has caused other vaccines like the MMR dose to come into question. Health Commissioner Charles Patterson says myths around the MMR vaccine started in 1998. Scientist Andrew Wakefield claimed his research showed that the MMR vaccine may predispose children to pervasive development disorders. Since then, the study was declared unethical. That article has since been um, retracted. Uh, the professor that did the research um, has admitted that it was flawed research, um, and it's just flat out not true. There have been at least nine studies since then that have shown um, that it is there is no causal between the MMR and autism. Currently, Ohio has 81 confirmed cases of measles, of which 76 are unvaccinated children. 22 of the children are not eligible to be vaccinated due to age, plus 29 children have been hospitalized. One of the cases is an infant in Clark County, which Patterson says was completely preventable with vaccination. In the year 2000, uh, measles was declared gone from the United States. Um, unfortunately, we're starting to see it back now. Uh, and, th and that's really, really a problem because of the reduction in vaccines that are out there. And Patterson says out of the 81 cases across the state, none of the children are fully vaccinated. Live in studio, Caroline Morse, 2 News working for you.